right, a duck plushie then, something different for my channel. I chose to make a little fluffy duck plushie for my granny for Christmas because there was like this little show that we used to watch together um, that had like a little cartoon duck called Sean in it. I'll put a little picture in the video so you can see the reference that I'm going by but this pattern will work for pretty much any standard duck if you want to make a little duck plushie. Okay, so I have this really nice soft fluffy fabric. I'm pretty sure I got it from eBay. So when you're pinning your patterns down onto a fabric, make sure that the fur is pointing downwards unless you want it to go another way. You want it all going the same way. If you're using a different fabric, that doesn't matter. You can use like a, a swirly fabric or a Sherpa fabric or just minky if you want. But personally, I wanted a little fluffy duckling. Alright so here you can just see me cutting out the patterns, you can see on the patterns that I put in the picture how many pieces to cut out for each template. Alright then, so now it's time to start pinning the different pieces together. So I start with the wings, pin the two pieces together, fluffy sides against each other. The side body pieces um, just pin the top parts of that together as we'll sew along that top line first. With the head piece, there's two pieces that have like a strip and then they go wider so that is for the side of the head so you just need to pin the side of the strips along the side of the front face piece um, just so that it goes up to the middle then pin the other one along the other side and they should meet in the middle and you'll be able to pin those pieces together in the middle. Okay, so once you've done that, you can then go ahead and turn the wings inside out. So then we're going to pin the next pieces that need to go onto the body. We've got a tummy piece. You just pin that along the sides. Here I'm pinning the under tail piece to the points of the side body pieces. All sides join up. The back of the head of the pieces, there were two semicircle pieces that you sew down the middle, that straight line. Turn the whole body inside out and you should have a duck body.
Okay, and now you can stuff all the pieces, which is the most fun bit because you can see your plushie come into shape. And for me, when I didn't really know if this pattern was going to be any good, it was such a relief to see it actually look like a duck. Pin the head onto the neck and pin the wings onto the body just so that you can see if it looks right. Okay, time for the classic ladder stitch now as you ladder stitch on the wings onto the body and the head onto the neck. Get with the head onto the neck, make sure that you go around a couple of times, make sure it's on securely. It's quite a thin little neck and a big head to support, so make sure it's definitely tightly stitched around. Uh, with the wings, you only need to ladder stitch on the sort of the ends of the wings so that they can move. Here I've skipped ahead a little bit. I have some wire and I've just shaped the wire into duck shaped feet. When I am happy with the shape of the wire feet, I then place them onto some yellow fabric and I cut the fabric around the wire shape so that I make sure that the fabric is big enough to fit the wire in. Then just pin them together and sew them on the machine but make sure there's a big enough gap at the top to slot the wire pieces in. I've also cut out some yellow squares which I'll then just fold over and sew down the side to make the legs and a little roundish orange beak shape. So once you have all of these little pieces to add to the features of the duck, you can then just turn them all inside out. Alright then, so manage to slot the wire pieces into the feet and spread them out to the edges as much as you can. Then you, all you need to do is ladder stitch up the gap. And you're ready to stuff, so you can stuff the beak and the legs. A 
Okay, so this part is optional. Um, I just wanted a little bit of detail in the feet, so like what I do with plushy hands to give them fingers, I'm just sewing over and over in the little spaces on the duck feet just to give them a bit of detail. You don't have to do that, that's just optional. Okay, so now it's time to position the features onto the face. So here you can see I'm struggling trying to get the beak on in the right place. It's essential that it goes in the right place and doesn't look wonky or anything like that. So just take your time with it. Sew the legs onto the feet before the legs go onto the body. Then you can get the legs in the right place and ladder stitch them down. This part is also optional. I just cut out a strip to wrap around the leg and I will ladder stitch that down straight onto the body. And you may have noticed that our duck plushie is missing something quite important, he can't see, so we're going to need to do some eyes. Just cut out some little black circles and glue them down onto the face. He's pretty much done. The last things you see me doing are pretty much just added addition to the character Sean for this little duck plushie. In the show, he breaks his wing and he has like a little bit of grass to um, kind of hold it and look after it, I suppose. Um, so that's what I'm adding to his wing here. And you also see me add some tufts of hair at the top of his head.
pretty much how to make a duck plushie. It was super fun making something different. So let me know if you liked this video by giving me a thumbs up and then helping me out. If you want to see any behind the scenes stuff, you can head on over to my Instagram or my Facebook page where I post different things that I don't post here on my channel. And so yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.